Whenever you come out here, this is what we're gonna do to you. Right in the This has been Joe Biggs with InfoWars.com. And I'm not just speaking for myself, I'm representing every liberty loving American out there in this country right now. Every American who likes the right to say what they want. Everybody who likes the freedom to go up and pick up a gun and go shoot. And the freedom to kick ISIS's ass. Oh, People taking risks cause they know that money gon' come The drug game is global, paying off 20 to 1 Who you telling? You don't think these politicians ain't selling? Doctors ain't selling, cops ain't selling While rocking your melon? Cop car smelling like Cali Blue Dream In New York, brothers like, what do you mean? I mean switch the philosophy, think of the economy Plants, herbs, and roots are nature's technology Bum, 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 bum. We are not the dumb ones We see how the drugs run We see where they come from governments are selling it every day one ton they declare a war on drugs with drugs one brothers on that lockdown sisters in that lockup things were good in the hood till them d's popped up brothers the reminders that i only hold this job temporarily but uh it's a long time between now and 2016 and anything can happen anything can happen i have more campaigns to run Let's face it, there is one issue on every reporter's minds, and that is 2016. Apparently, some folks really want to see a pot-smoking socialist in the White House. We could get a third Obama term after all. Could happen, could happen, could happen. And that's why we running for a third term! No, 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 we're not. We're not? No. Who the hell said that? I actually think I'm a pretty good president. I think if I ran, I could win. From, uh, from Todd. Todd says, with the ever-increasing lawlessness of the Obama administration, each act of lawlessness is becoming more bold and radical. I agree with that. Nothing is being done by Congress to end it. It would certainly seem that way. Are these acts testing grounds for a hostile government takeover by current, the current administration? Something to think about, he says. We may not have the 2016 presidential election if America does not act now. The objective of this trip was to have substantive discussions with uh, people like President Karzai or uh, Prime Minister Maliki or uh, President Sarkozy or others uh, who uh, I expect to be dealing with over the next eight to ten years. Uh, and it's important for me to have a relationship with them uh, early. You have to wonder if Obama is just trying to lay a foundation for not being a hypocrite when he tries to serve beyond 2016. I wouldn't be at all surprised if in the next number of years there is a move on the 22nd Amendment, which term limits the President of the United States. Regardless, I mean, one thing is clear here, that uh, Obama is nothing if not a hardcore liberal. Always, always more sympathetic, appearing to side with the bad guys on the world stage. And I'll tell you, folks, this, this business about serving beyond 2016... You know, the, the thing that, when you look at Obama's followers, and we've discussed it here, they are a cult-like bunch. The power of the presidency, regardless of whom occupies the White House, is enormous. And this question is always asked. And the truth is, the president is a lame duck. The 22nd Amendment is a terrible idea. <laughs> the Representative Jose E. Serrano of New York came from the same school of thought. In January of this year, he proposed to get H.J. Res. 15 passed committee for the ninth time. He's reintroduced it every congressional session since 1997. None of these resolutions ever made it to a floor vote. But try, try, try again. H.J. Res. 15 proposes repealing the 22nd Amendment to the Constitution, which sets term limits on the presidency. The last and only president to serve more than two terms was Franklin D. Roosevelt. 
In 1945, Who would oppose a few Obama back? if he issued an executive order suspending this 22nd Amendment, allowing him to run for a third term? Or who would oppose him if he found some other way to stay in office beyond the constitutional limit of two four-year terms? Rush Limbaugh responded to this question recently when a caller raised the possibility Obama might ignore the 22nd Amendment to the Constitution as he has ignored so many other laws since taking office. Rush said, well, let's construct this scenario and see if it has the slightest bit of believability, and let's establish some things that we know to be true about Obama, what he already knows. Chief among those is that the Republican Party has said that impeachment is off the table. Limbaugh went on to say, the Republican Party has made it clear that they will not use that constitutional measure as a means of reining Obama in, and maybe even getting him out of office. They also have made it just as clear in the most recent vote on the funding for the Homeland Security Department that they will not use the power of the purse to stop Obama. Okay, so those dual realities equal Obama, fully aware the Republican Party will take no steps to stop him in his ongoing violations and running up to the edges of the Constitution. Limbaugh speculated that Obama would actually consider the possibility of a third term given the Democrat Party's weak field of candidates for 2016, with its lead candidate being the lackluster Hillary Clinton, who couldn't even beat the political unknown Obama last time. Russ, new major story mm -hmm. that Obama, his powers are so unprecedented that even congressmen now are saying Obama is enacting dictator dictatorial powers by saying that, yes, I'll follow some laws, but overall, I'll do anything I want. Yeah. And the key thing here is, yet yeah, some of the Congress people are saying he could become a dictator. You know, he could choose to suspend election terms and everything like that. But the reality is he's already enforced dictatorial powers. That's right. Obama has already said the Constitution doesn't matter. He has already used dictator-style powers to go ahead and do anything he wants. And they do it with this straight face. Mm -hmm. And they act like it's no big deal, from the NSA spying on you at all times to the DHS saying you have no constitution, literally. Mm -hmm. They're doing this over and over again and getting away with it because the people aren't freaking out enough about it. And even when they do, Obama just gets away with it. So why can't he suspend the election? Why yeah, can't he exactly. say, okay, I'll run again? You know, why can't he do anything? He could literally declare himself a dictator today and probably get away with it if we let him. The growing assertion of power by this president to do things to change laws, uh, that's not his responsibility. That's the Congress's clearly delegated responsibility to write the laws. But even with Obamacare, uh, his signature legislation, when he finds things in it that he doesn't like, he rewrites the law, even though the law itself doesn't give him any authority to do that. You can, if you can dispense with immigration laws, or marijuana laws, or mandatory minimums, can you also dispense with election laws? Again, I think we've, we've gone over this ground many times. Well, it's human. Let's do it one more time. Can the president suspend election laws? No. Why not? If he can suspend mandatory minimum and immigration laws, why not election laws? Because we live, we live in, a, uh, in, a, in a government of laws, and You're the president is bound to Maybe Obama might be the last president. Since then, he made a statement about running for a third term, wishing he could. F talk about that more. Well, the thing that everybody had better watch, Obama knows what I know. There's only two people in this world that can stop him from his agenda, which is to dedicate and make himself king, using the FEMA provisional government. And Alex, you've covered FEMA for years, so don't let anybody fool you. It's out there. They're waiting to do it. But Obama wants to be that person. The key to this is watch Joe Biden. If Joe Biden gets in the race, then you can count on it with everything you got. Obama's planning to stay. And he's going to do what he's got to do to be able to stay there. But you now have two distinct people trying to get control of this nation. And it's all going to hinge on a thing called the FEMA Provisional Government Plan. Whoever is president when a crisis is declared nationally, when that day comes, whoever's president becomes king, becomes king. Now, the way that works so people will know, whoever's president takes total power. There is no vice president. Number two is the commander of the Joint Chiefs Staff. All and I'm very concerned about this president. FDR had a little bit of this king complex also. We had to limit FDR finally because he served so many terms that I think he would have ruled in perpetuity. I'm very concerned about this president 
garnering so much power and arrogance that he thinks he can do whatever he wants. Well, any Democrats much on the subject, information has come forth that Obama just needs the right event to cancel the 2016 elections. Now, we know this is the case because of the executive orders in the event of any emergency, Obama is able to suspend the election. According to A&P News, this is, there is a power play going on here that whoever is president during an emergency event here in this country, that person will suspend the elections and become king. What has God shown you that will happen in the future? He showed me that if Christians don't start praying more than they ever have, even the churches become the house of prayer, this next election, presidential election, election is uh, not going to take place, that it's going to be suspended because evil's going to arise and uh, some disasters are going to happen and some things are going to be put in place and the president's not going to be removed. He's going to stay in and uh, these things are going to happen and they're going to be very bad if we don't get a hold of God. I, I was told Last thing, you know, I was told that um, that the I asked the angel about the 2016 elections because, like I said, I've been told about Bush winning the second term, Obama's off, and I the Lord hadn't given me anything. So I asked this angel. I was like, you know, um, I wanted to know specifically if Hillary was going to win this time. You know, she didn't win last time, and it seems like they, her and Obama, have been so close knit about all of this. Um, I was actually told that the elections was going to be delayed. Um, that there wasn't going to be a 2016 election. And um, there's only two reasons why we would not have an election, war or, or martial law. That's it. So that means Obama remains in the White House. That's what I was told. And I don't, now, for what extent of time and all of that, I don't know. I wouldn't I'd say permanently, but I keep going back to what I said in 2004, that the next president after Bush will be the one to lead us into the tribulation. I received this vision on 28 December 2015. I began to see a power line light up, then it went out. I then saw people at an electricity station messing with the electricity at nighttime. Then I was shown an outline of America and it all went dark. I then began to see something like soldiers. I didn't see any uniforms, but they were leading other people captive as they were pulling them from their homes. I was then shown an angel leading some people from the back of their house. I am shown a Walmart directly in front of me, and these people who were being led captive were taken there inside the Walmart. I knew they were being given the mark of the beast, and if they didn't accept it, they would be shipped off somewhere else. The Holy Spirit then brought to mind the other vision of Obama standing on the outside of the train shipping off the ones who refuse the mark of the beast. I see and hear someone come to Obama's office saying it has been done. I then hear Obama say, I will be the first to have a third term since Franklin D. Roosevelt, and I will be the last. They will regret the day that they nominated me as president. I also see many angels leading the people that have been rescued to a safe place where I heard God protects this place, and I heard Goshen. From Jehovah God Almighty, Obama cares nothing about you, my children of the U.S. He will turn your country into complete chaos. You will feel God's judgment during this turbulent time. 1 Thessalonians 5.3 For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Let me just say something to all my conspiracy-oriented friends uh, on the right who think I'm planning to unleash some secret agenda. You're absolutely right. <laughs> the only people who don't want to disclose the truth are people with something to hide.